Hey, this is Dr. Fast here, and in this video, I will show you how to fix the rubber molding that's found on the side step of the sliding door of this Honda Odyssey. So here's a closer look at the side step that I'm referring to. Now this plastic piece is where you would step up to get into the van. Along this edge is a rubber molding. This is the piece that gets damaged a lot. The reason for that is because the way it's designed, this is a straight edge and then it curves out and it comes around. So this part right here sticks out and every time someone gets into the car there might be a tendency to kick this area. So after a couple of years what you'll find is that chunks of rubber on this top edge breaking off and instead of replacing this whole thing which costs quite a bit of money what I'll show you is a quick fix for this without having to replace this entire rubber piece. So the first thing you need to do is remove this panel and it's held in by clips. So just stick your hand underneath the panel and the piece will pop out. So here's a piece that I've taken out. Now if you look at the underside, you'll see that this rubber molding is actually clipped onto this plastic piece. So you can actually take this out by pulling it out this way so here is a look at what I'm talking about you see this you start to break also right here and if you let this go long enough chunks of this rubber will actually fall right off to fix this what you need is some painters tape also this black silicone adhesive sealant. You can get this at most automotive store or Walmart. Latex glove to keep your hand clean when you're applying the silicone and a lot of paper towel. Now before I begin let me show you the other side that I've worked on already. Now right here starting at where my screwdriver is pointing all the way to here this was damaged really bad. Big chunks of rubber were missing and like over here actually this amount of rubber was all gone same as here this part there was about maybe half an inch of rubber all missing so what I've done is I've filled in this area with the silicone and in the video I'll show you how to get the straight edge at the top so it'll look nice now I know it's not gonna look perfectly like original but it sure beats you know having chunks of rubber missing and also it's definitely going to be cheaper than replacing this entire rubber piece. The first thing you need to do is clean both surfaces. Just get yourself some Windex and a paper towel. And then just wipe this edge down. Do the same for the inside edge of this rubber molding. Then get yourself the painter's tape and what you want to do is put the tape right up to the bottom edge like so. Now install the rubber molding back in here. Now get yourself a second piece of painter's tape and what you want to do is look at this straight on and put this piece lining up right to the top edge of the rubber molding like so so here I have the black silicone 
And what you want to do is any area where there's a void, go ahead and fill it in with a silicone. The next thing is to put on your latex glove and gently run your finger across this edge right here and just smooth it out. If you find that some of the area need more silicone, just go ahead and squeeze more on top. It's easy to work with this and again just smooth it out. So after you smooth everything out and all the voids are filled in and make sure the top side and the bottom side is not too thick, thin that area out and then go ahead and remove this top piece of the tape and pull it away from the silicone. So there you'll see a very flat line on the top side of this rubber molding. Now this time let it dry for at least 24 hours and if it's a nice sunny day outside go ahead and put this outside it'll help with the drying process. So now that I've let the piece dry completely give yourself a sharp knife and what you want to do is run your knife on this inside edge here along here Do this a few times. And then slowly pull this back. Now you can remove the tape. Go ahead and reinstall this back on. Now you'll notice the silicone is quite shiny. All you have to do is just gently rub it with your finger and it'll take that shine right off. It'll blend right into the rest of the rubber. There you go. Now we'll go ahead and install this back in the car. Here's a look at the passenger side. Now this is a side with the most uh, damage to the rubber where chunks of it were missing. As you can see that's all filled in now. Well I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions leave a comment below and please subscribe. Thank you.